All right, to figure out the length of the board, what we have to say to ourselves is, let's recall, we need a length of board that is greater, at least the length of two of the boards that we measured. So if we say that we're taking the one board, we're dividing it, we're cutting it into two pieces, then I'm gonna write the length of the board divided by two, and then what do we say? It has to be at least 37 and 3 eighths. I'm gonna round it up and make it 37 and a half inches, right? So it has to be at least, right? We have to think about what that means. That means it has to be, it can't be any less than 37 and a half inch. It can't be shorter than that. So that means it has to be greater than, but it also can be equal to. So it has to be greater than or equal to. So the steps I have to take to solve this, first I have to look at it and say, how do I get the two out of the denominator? Well, to do that, I multiply by the reciprocal. In this case, the reciprocal of L of L over two, or of one over two, is gonna be two over one. So, I multiply times two over one. And if I multiply this side times two over one, I have to multiply this side times two over one. By multiplying this times two over one, the twos will cancel, and then I'll be left with L as in the length of the whole board, and that has to be greater than or equal to, you multiply 37.5 times two, you'll end up with 75 inches. So, the length of the board has to be at least 75 inches in order to get me to 37.5 inch lengths.